Today's topic is genre. If you've got five minutes, I have five tips to help you find the best genre for you and your book. If you want to write a book, or if you've already written a book or started writing a book, sooner or later someone is going to ask you what genre it's in. Now you may have started writing without giving this a single thought, but I'm going to suggest to you that it's an extremely important aspect of your book and of your writing to know what genre you're writing in. And if you're one of those people who says, doesn't matter what genre I'm writing in, I don't care, it's not a genre, well, bully for you. Go ahead, write your book, and don't care about genre, but I'm going to tell you that you're not likely to meet your objectives if you do that. You want to give it some thought. So for example, you might have said, I'd like to write a memoir about my struggle with XYZ. It doesn't matter what it is. But if you've really given it any consideration that the memoir might not be the ideal way to write your story. Maybe your story needs to be fictionalized. Maybe it needs to be a novel. Maybe it needs to be a novel for young adults. Have you thought about this? All of this is related to what genre you choose. So let's begin by talking about what genre really is. Well, genre is a specific category or classification of a book. The style, the content, and the theme of the book. All of these are parts of genre. Genre is important because it helps people to categorize books based on similar characteristics and it's important for publishers and it's also important for readers so that they know what to expect from a particular book if they understand what genre it's in. Different genres have different conventions, different expectations and different reader demographics and all of these are important for you to understand before you begin writing your book generally speaking as a best time to find your genre. Now let's start by looking at the categories. Obviously, you're probably aware that the two major categories of genre are fiction and nonfiction. But within each of those, there are subgenres, genres that are genres of themselves that you need to understand to see where your book fits. Now, what is fiction? By definition, fiction is any piece of literature that's based on an imaginary story. Now that doesn't mean that there can't be some real aspects to your fiction. For example, historical fiction may include real historical events, real historical figures. Also, if you're writing a contemporary piece, you might set it in a place like New York City or Toronto. Those are real places and they require real descriptions for the places that you're going to have your characters who might be fictitious and the story that's fictitious that they may be set. Now I want to make a mention here as an aside that if you've ever said I want to write a fiction novel or a fictional novel, by saying that to anybody it immediately says that you're an amateur and don't know what you're talking about because it's a redundancy. A novel by definition is a piece of fiction. So if you want to write a novel you are writing a piece of fiction. You cannot write a novel biography unless you're writing an actual novel, which is an imaginary story, which then is not a biography. So keep that in mind when you describe your novel to people. Now let's look at some categories within fiction itself. Literary fiction, mystery, crime, science fiction, fantasy, romance, historical, women's fiction, thrillers, horrors, westerns, and this isn't an exhaustive list, and you probably already recognize as you look at each of these that there are sub-genres within these genres. For example, romance, you could have historical romance, or you could have erotic romance. Those are sub-genres of those genres. So keep that in mind that this is not an exhaustive list, it's just to get you thinking about where your book fits. Now let's talk about non-fiction genres. Non-fiction, by definition, is something that's based on fact. Now the major constraint that you have when you're writing non-fiction is that it must be true. It must be based on verifiable facts. 
if you're writing a memoir, if you're writing autobiography, if you're writing any kind of narrative nonfiction, it still has to be based on truth. It might be a story-based nonfiction, but it still has to be true. Now let's look at some of the genres within nonfiction. Biography, as I mentioned, autobiography, memoir, history, self-help, science, travel, journalism. All of those are non-fiction categories. Now, other kinds of genres which could fit into either fiction or non-fiction, there are three others that you need to think about. Uh, one of them is children's literature, which could be fiction or non-fiction, young adult literature, which could be fiction or non-fiction, and graphic novels or graphic non-fiction works. So those are three extra ones that you can consider. Now there are lots more subgenres, and you might need to do a little bit of research to see if yours fits in that, but let's talk about the five tips that I have for helping you to figure out your own genre. Tip number one, reflect on your interests. You want to first consider what kinds of stories, what kinds of books, what kinds of movies you enjoy. What are you interested in? Your personal interests become the starting point for deciding which genre you're going to write in. Tip number two, explore your expertise. What are you knowledgeable about? Now, sometimes people think if they look at their expertise, they're thinking about writing nonfiction. And that po that's possible. But the fact of the matter is that your level of expertise in some particular area, whether it's science or medicine or journalism, might in fact inform a piece of fiction. The very first book that I ever wrote and sold to a publisher was based on my area of expertise at the time. I was working in the area of organ transplantation and I was doing medical writing. My first book was narrative nonfiction called Life Without End, The Transplant Story. And I used that area of expertise to inform that particular genre that I chose, but I also used that expertise to inform a novel that I wrote sometime later. Tip number three, experiment. Don't limit yourself to just one genre. Try writing in a number of different genres to see which one works best with a particular piece of writing that you have. This experimentation can help you to determine your preferences as a writer and your strengths. Tip number four, consider your target audience. You have to think about what readers that you want to reach with your particular story. For example, go back to the example that I gave earlier. If you said you wanted to write a memoir about your struggle with something in particular. Now, that memoir might very well turn out to be a novel, but maybe young adults would be the people who would be best served by that. So then you're going to pick a young adult genre for your story. So think about it. Think about who you would like this message to go through to. If you are wanting to write for women, you might write women's fiction or romance, for example. But if you want to write for men, then you're probably not going to gather very many men readers if you're going to write women's contemporary fiction. Tip number five is follow your passion. Once you've discovered your interests, as we talked about in tip number one, by the time you get to this one, we're talking about what are you passionate about. Writing is challenging and it's very time consuming. So if you are writing about something and within a genre that is you're passionate about, you're going to find it a lot easier and a lot more fun. Also remember that your choice of genre is not set in stone. You might write your first book in one genre and your second book might be quite different. Many writers stick to one and continue that because they want to develop a particular audience. And remember, one of the things about genre is that people have expectations of what goes in that. So that if you're writing crime fiction, for example, and you've created a cadre of followers, of readers who enjoy your books, then you may want to continue in that at least for a while in order to make sure that you continue to have those particular readers. Whatever genre you choose, Try doing some experimentation and happy writing. Talk to you soon. Subscribe to Write, Fix, Repeat. And maybe I can help you improve your writing knowledge and skills. Five tips at a time.